Yes, hi everybody. So welcome to Atin Gate classes and I'm Dheeraj. So today I'm here with uh, one new opportunity for all the aerospace engineers, right? And for other branch as well for mechanical, for electronics and communication. So uh, in this session, I'm just going to talk about uh, one of the new opportunity you can say. Uh, uh this is the this is the opportunity you know for graduate engineer or trainee okay so for support services and the reference number recently one of the uh organization has released this opportunity right so i will be discussing uh, uh all sort of uh, recruitment process and so many things like what is the age limit and all so you have to understand that this is nothing but ai esl okay so what is this AI ESL uh, that we have to, uh, so AI ESL is nothing but AI Engineering Services Limited, one of the company. AI Engineering Services Limited is an aircraft maintenance and repair uh, organization, okay, MRO approved by DGCA. So this, this company also comes under DGCA. So I believe everybody might be familiar with DGCA, those who are from aerospace engineering, right? So it is one of the good opportunity okay so let us uh, see uh, let us see what are the points that i am going to discuss and which are very very important for all of you so these points i have taken directly from the uh, actual advertisement okay so you will be finding actual advertisement in the website of uh, aiesl just you can uh, you know search on google that aiesl so you will get a complete notification so in this, uh, these are the outlines that I'm just going to discuss, um, you know, next uh, uh, 15 to 20 minutes. So this is going to be first, I will talk about vacancies details, then, then eligibility, age limits. Okay. This is very, very important for all of us and emoluments. That is nothing but remuneration. Okay. After getting selected, how much the salary you're going to get, how much stipend you're going to get, what is the service bond and what is the period of contract? Okay and the important dates and the selection process right so these are the points that i'm gonna talk okay so you have to watch this session till the end so that you can get familiar with uh, the complete notification and uh, you can apply for this right so the vacancies detail is nothing but here you see total estimated present and future vacancies are as follows which may however vary depending upon actual requirement of ai esl right so these are the vacancies which are given you can see they can also vary right so locations what are the location that uh, you are going to get after getting selected right so these are the locations you can say delhi mumbai you know kolkata hyderabad nagpur and uh, this okay tiruvampuram right so distribution of the vacancy like there are total 74 vacancies so these 74 vacancies have got distributed among these cities right so delhi has got 24 mumbai has got uh, you know 22 Kolkata has got three so Delhi and Mumbai has got many more vacancies and then this okay Tiruvampuram right so these are the number of vacancies so we have got 74 vacancies right 74 vacancies please remember next point is what are the eligibility criteria okay so the date they have mentioned here is the 1st January 2024 so these eligibility criteria are as on 1st january 2024 so candidate must have first of all a b or b tag degree in aeronautical engineering you can say or a mechanical engineering electrical and communication uh, telecommunication okay instrumentation electrical electrical electronics and communication industrial you know production and chemical engineering or it's equivalent from a uh, government recognized university or institute right so you can say that Aerospace uh, uh, candidate can also apply for this, right? So, uh, and then the second and next uh, is along with the degree that be the valid gate percentile of 80% or above. Okay, so this is also so B or B tag you can say, right? Plus gate score. See, both are compulsory here, right? 75% uh, and ever for these categories, right? SCST and OBC for general 80% percentile, right? So if you have got gate score as well as the like B degrees there or B tag degree in these uh, branches, what we have mentioned here, what is mentioned in your uh, advertisement, then you can apply for this, right? So what is the age limit? This is very important factor, right? So 
suppose you are a fresh graduate right so this is a right opportunity for you right because you can join this uh, organization and you can have the great experience uh, as a okay graduate engineer trainee right so for fresher it is great and for uh, for those students whose age is below 28 you can say for general or ews category so they can also go for this right and obc not above 31 year and scst you can see the maximum age limit they have mentioned here in the advertisement is 33 right so and there is one more point they have mentioned ex servicemen upper age limit of 28 years would be relaxed to the extent uh, the candidate served in a regular post like some some student might be serving in the army or navy or air force before retirement or release so they will be also given some sort of uh, you know like okay this will be uh, relaxed understand okay so some relaxation they will be given okay so now let us talk about one of the important point one of the important you can say attractive thing that uh, that can attract many talents is the uh, how much money how much salary how much stipend you are going to get during the period of your job over there right so the graduate uh, engineer trainee support service cadre will be paid a stipend of rupee 40000 you see here they have mentioned so as a fresher this is great amount you can say during the first year of training so you know once you will get selected so for the first year your training will be there right so you will be receiving an amount of 40000 right so 40k is the stipend okay so you can say in india uh, most of the time uh, phd candidate also uh, gets around 42k right so this is equivalent to okay for first year you can see thereafter will be graded as assistant engineer so your 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 designation over there will be after one year okay in, in you know for the first year you're going to be like get or get you can say a graduate engineer training okay as a fresher right and then after one year, once your training is done, you will be graded as assistant engineer, that is AE. Okay, so your salary and stipend will be certainly, uh, will grow up, right? So subject to a completion of training and your performance assessment and level of the examination will be there, level exam or assessment, right? So you, and how much money you're going to get then, you will be paid an all inclusive, uh, okay, ranging uh, between this 59K, per month to 79k per month over a period of four years right over a period of four years so you can say that one year training and four year okay job so you see how many years are there total five years right excluding the training period right okay depending upon the length of the service and the experience okay so this is the renovation that you're going to uh, uh you know uh, uh, get uh, during your uh uh, contract during your job right okay so there is some service bond as well that's why i wanted to highlight here uh, before you apply you have to uh, you know read these things so that uh, uh, like suppose you are passing uh, recently you know in 2023 or 2024 right so you can apply for this uh, okay to, in 2023 if you are passing out right so uh, uh, dated on uh, 1st january 2024 so you can apply for this and if you have a valid grade score and all right so uh you can apply for this right needless to worry about service bond and all right okay so this is a five-year job right so selected candidate will be required to execute a bond to complete training and serve the company for minimum period of five years you can say on being appointed as assistant engineer a bond guarantee to reimburse the company an amount of three lakh okay in the event of his her leaving before completion of bond period of five years right so this is the amount that you have to reimburse understand uh, suppose you are going to uh, suppose you got new opportunity right in between so i believe that getting a new opportunity is great thing right so you can join there and you can also like uh, leave it and uh, by paying this much amount so i can i believe if you get new opportunity a bigger opportunity right so, you know, uh, giving back three lakh is not a big thing then, right? Because you will be receiving a hefty amount over there, like uh, 50K, 59K per month or to 79K per month, okay? Chalo. And there will be some HRA and also many things, you know, as government uh, will give, right? 
so the period of contract what is the period of contract here right this is also very important uh, you know before you apply for this uh, post okay graduate uh, trainee post okay so uh, the fixed term contract for the period of five year okay including a training period which may be extended for the further period right so they certainly if you're going to spend your time for five years right so that five year time is going to get valued also okay so you don't have to worry about these contract words and all right if the opportunity comes you have to apply it and you get a good opportunity okay this will be a lifelong uh, learning lesson as well so in any organization guys if you're going to spend five years certainly they will be giving you giving you an opportunity right they will be extending your contract right based on your performance and requirement of aiesl right the candidate will have a career in organization as per fixed term employment scheme that is fte scheme of aiesl right so remember that this is nothing but a five-year job okay you can say and based on your performance as well as the requirement of aiesl they will be extending you know uh to continue your job services over there right now the question is how to apply that is very big question right uh okay so candidate those uh, who are willing to apply you know are advised to print the application format attached in the advertisement okay so if you if you take a look at detail advertisement so there is one uh, application format okay application format which is attached over there right if you uh, go below the uh, advertisement okay not uh, in the first uh, page of the advertisement then what you have to do here is you have to send the dually skilled self-attested application through the post or you can say speed post right so uh, courier at following addresses so there are some addresses that i'm going to show you in an envelope that must be superscribed with an application of so this is this you have to write application for the post of graduate engineer trainee support right services and additionally you should complete and submit your information via google form link provided in aiesl website so after sending this post speed post right you can also fill this google form so this is not an online process guys okay remember you have to uh, you you have to uh, get an envelope and then you have to post it via speed post okay from post office or courier right which are, which are, whichever is uh, you know feasible for you right so this is the address that they have given so important date also you have to remember so that uh, you should not miss the deadlines okay so uh, to to chief human resource officer ai engineering engineering services limited so i believe many of you might not be familiar with this organization right so now uh, as the new opportunity comes into picture we get to uh, know about uh, the uh, new about you know new organization and which comes under dgca only right okay second these are the uh okay this is the address that you have to mention in the uh envelope the last date of received application is what 5 uh, 17 hours on 15 january right so you can say that from 1st to 15 in between these two dates uh, between these two dates you can you can send the application right on the above address okay application received after the last date will not be entertained so better what you can do you can send now onwards right after getting to know this opportunity you can start sending so and you can also send via speed post so it will reach immediately right so after receive our application received after the last date will not be attained okay so if you're going to send on 15 okay this happens mostly right so it will not reach in one day right suppose you are from very remote area so that will not reach in one day right so what you can do here is you can send now onwards right after getting uh, printed the actual application format from advertisement you know uh, uh you know by uh, visiting uh, the aiesl uh, website okay fine so what is the selection process then right so all these things are fine so now this application is not online guys you have to go offline right you have to send your application all attached uh, whatever uh, they have okay asked you to attach right you know mark sheets and all right uh, selection procedure involves personal interview right so there is no written exam at this moment right so what they have said personal interview of the candidate 
who prima facie meet uh, eligibility criteria right eligibility criteria is nothing but the b plus your age plus you know your uh, a gate score right and pre employment uh, medical examination so these are the thing that that you have to undergo right once you get selected so the sort listed candidate will be inducted as per the vacancy so 74 vacancies are there subject to being about fit in the pre employment medical examination so you know in all the government uh, organization uh, medical examination is uh, very important right so they always uh, uh, you know do very closer medical examination right so selection procedure is very simple personal interview plus medical exam that's it right so this is all about uh, you know uh, the opportunity guys so remember there are 74 opportunities and there are different cities for which you can apply right okay so they will be posting you in different cities after getting after completion of your training okay so remember that this is nothing but a contract job that's why I just mentioned, okay, not to, uh, you know, uh, let you know, I mean, so that you should not get confused. This is a contract job and I believe this is one of the great opportunity. Instead of working uh, for very less salary anywhere in private sector also, you guys can just get into this, okay. It's a great opportunity and, and you can also continue your preparation for any sort of examination, right, for gate, for whatever, whatever your dreams are, right. So the branches that I have mentioned like aeronautical, mechanical, you know, electrical, instrumentation, electronics and communication. So all, all branches, all students can apply for this and okay. So you can visit AI ESL website, okay, for the, you know, complete advertisement. So thank you guys. I uh, will come back again with another notification. Uh, and you guys can contact on these numbers if you have any sort of concern about, uh, uh, this advertisement or any sort of uh, preparation related or any sort of you know so you can also mail us right and you can also visit uh, to this website okay www.iatingateclasses.com right and you can also follow on these uh, you know social ha media handles right uh, you know on youtube basically and then you know instagram and telegram okay these are the active one right everybody nowadays is active right so okay so we'll, we'll meet in the next session with another new opportunity. So till then, uh, thank you. Okay, all the best for your application. Mm -hmm.